Ladies and gentlemen, konnichiwa. My name is The Common Gentleman. I am currently recording this on my Twitch channel, which is why everything looks so different from my normal iPad streams. Today, we're going to be looking at three new items, two of which have only just come out today. These will be both Kamen Rider and Super Sentai. Primarily Super Sentai, though, because it's the main thing right now. So as you can see here, we've got more or less our setup. Saber, this will be coming in play today, don't worry. And I know I promised you guys a video about a month ago. I apologize, it's been a, a crazy time. So, what we're going to look at is, I'm gonna get out of the box because it's a very big box. Holy shit, that's a big box. <laughs> This is the Super Sentai series, Zen Kaija, which is the 45th anniversary series. You can now see my face. Yeah, look at the box, look at it, it's a big box. This is the, uh, it's, what is it called? The Gitterlinger, it's basically a big gun that does stuff and it's kind of cool. I kind of like it already. So. As we can see here, we can see our protagonist, our protagonist, main hero, basically. Words escape me, I've been teaching all week. This is Zenkaijo. As you can see, up here we got 45, 45th anniversary. And this one's really unique because this covers the entire 45 years of Super Sentai. And it's doing something really unique in this series as well because if we go around here, we can look at the top. Normally, Power Rangers and Super Sentai have five human cast members. Uh, every now and then, we have like a six where it's like a machine. Uh, Gosage did that. Uh, the English version would be uh, Robo Knight in Megaforce, which we don't speak about. But we would have like a machine version, a machine hero but this time we actually have four distinct members of the team who are all past uh, ranger mechs they have their designs based on them we have uh, going through blue here this is room he is based on the 30th anniversary series uh, borkenja so he's based on their main mecha here, 29, is Magine, the only female member at the moment. And she is based off the uh, Magi Ranger, Magi King mecha, which is one of my all-time favorite mechas. Over here, this one, uh, Juan, you'll recognize if you've watched any of the original Power Rangers, because he is based off the original Megazord. And over here, uh, Gaul. Gaul is uh, based off the Wild Force Zord, which is really cool. And they've all got really cool personalities, as we can see here on the side. We've got sort of a nice picture of them there. Again, it's really, really cool. So, what they use in this series is what we call a Sentai gear. And I'm just going to cut this open. Again, be very careful with knives for uh, sharp objects. Be very, very careful. Because you don't want to cut yourself. There we go. Let's put that to the side and let's very quickly look at the back. They said it uses Sentai, ge uh, Sentai gear, which are these gears here. And again, cool thing about the new, mech the new characters, they become the mechas. They literally can grow themselves and do stuff, which is really, really cool. Uh, this does take, where is it? Batteries, 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 batteries. Hey, no batteries. Ah, here. Two AAA batteries, which are these ones here. See, I come prepared today for once. So let's take it out. Obviously, on this side, you can see what's in here. We've got the gun, we've got the buckle, we've got the gears here. Now, my friend really likes uh, Gaol. He is one, it, he loves that character. It's, it's a good character. 
really interesting personality to him. He's very uh, like he's an animal lover. So and obviously he's like based off a cat sort of motif anyway. So he, ha he has some really cool um, dialogue and interactions with the other cast members. And the reason for the the actual design choices this season is because of what's been happening in the world right now. And it makes it a lot easier to sort of film and do stuff in a group when most of the characters are wearing full body suits. So, here we go. I'm going to remove that. And we're going to bring this up. So here is some of the uh, sent ideas. This is apologies. This is Senkaijas and Gaos, not Gaos, Juans. We have the belt, which we don't need. Belt can go away. So can my squeaky chair. We have the buckle, which I now have two of these, by the way. Just so I'm clear, I'm gonna have two of these by the end of the video. So we have the buckle here, which is quite nice. Very cheap plastic though, very, very cheap. It's not fantastic plastic, but it's kind of nice. And you can open it up and you can slot the Sentai gears in there. Fun, fun. Will my chair stop squeaking? I have no idea if it will ever stop squeaking. And here we have the remaining, remaining cast. We have Gao, Vroom and Magina. And finally we get to the main cost, as I deafen you all with the sound of the you taking out of the box, the Giertlinger, uh, Giertlinger, I can never pronounce this correctly, and it's got a, a thing that turns like that, that's really cool, look at that, turning, 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 this is part of the henshin, so. Here we have a openable slot, like so, to put the gear in here, which is, again, really, really cool. And apparently these, the, the eyes light up, which is, it's got this nice bird motif. Which again, very, very nice. Look at that. That's so cool. Now you've got your trigger under here. You have battery compartment is here. So one of open that up shortly and there's a little uh, flap that you can put out here which you can sort of set up to do the uh, like hold it down like that which again really nice but from what I originally saw of it on adverts it didn't really look that nice but now it does you know now that I've got it here it's really really nice so what did I forget to get? I forgot to get something. I think I did. Yes. One second. Professional YouTuber in action. Ah! I needed uh, something to poke the uh, battery compartment. I, said, uh, I was hoping these would all come at the same, but at least this should have came today, which it did. The other two were meant to come tomorrow, but because Japan is very weird when it comes to deliveries. It was like, yeah, we're just going to deliver it straight away as soon as it comes out. I'm like, thanks, Amazon. Why be so weird? Before I put this in, let me have a quick look. There is no on-off switch. So when I put this battery in, it's on. It's on permanently until I take the battery out. Okay, so let's set that in. Or is there an actual on switch? There is actually an on switch. Are you serious? There it is, ah, it's here. On switch. That's cool. That is actually really, really cool. So 
And again, trigger. Nice little gunshot sound there. Whoa. You know, fun stuff. Obviously, turning, turning does nothing yet because we need to put stuff in. So, let us get my scissors, which are over here again. Let's start with Zenkaiju, you know, the main character of the show. Zenkaiju, who really is yellow, uh, not yellow, white. He's a white ranger, which is impossibly rare for Super Sentai and Power Rangers. I'm actually going to turn this camera a little bit this way so it's a little bit better. Yeah, Power Rangers has always been a red always been led by red people, red members, so it's very strange to have a white ranger be the actual leader. So I'm going to set that in, make some noise, set that like so, you can see the lights, and then we want to turn, so I'm going to, there we go, I will eventually get this right one day. So I'm going to hold it like this. I love that tune. And then pull the trigger. And you'll get the sound effect. Which is really cool. Zen Kaija. And if I remember correctly, when we take it up, we can remove it and flip it around. So we've got the series logo. Set. Place. Close. And then one more time. <laughs> yeah, all the sounds. And that's the, uh, the Gatai sound effect. Which is cool. To take that out. I'm actually not sure on how to do the. I really should be like, you know, doing the proper stuff and going, let's look at the box. You know, I think you, you don't even have to change it around. So you just keep it to Senkaija, do the transformation, which we can do again. And close it. Again, I love that. I just love the tune, it's so cool. And then we'll crank it again to get the attack. That's so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, this is like my YouTube channel is basically this. I've reviewed a ton of Kamen Rider stuff. I'm actually due to record for this one, which I'm going to do tomorrow, as these ones have now shown up. So, uh, sorry, just clearing all this off because I'm getting like, everyone's alive. So, that is. Uh, Zenkaija, let's bring out. You're gonna love the next the next uh, Zenkaija thing I have. It's really it's gonna be really cool. Uh, go on, set, place. So the 16 Sentai. Juran! Zenkai Juran, who is possibly my favorite guide. Like, literally, the dude dances to the, uh, to the tune, which is so much fun. 
It's so much fun. I love it. And we flip. I'm getting faster at doing that already. Again, such a cool sound effect. I love it. And I'm not going to do the full uh, ones for the rest of the, the crew because we'll be here all day. Even though that's not a bad thing. It's also like coming up to 10, 8, 10 p.m. for me in, in Japan right now. So I don't want to be too noisy for my neighbors. Though they've put up with me so far, so I don't know. Because I randomly just go, I'm going to make noise. <laughs> so let's go for the 25th Sentai. Place turning. So one of the things I might actually do, because obviously for the live audience right now, you're going to see me go through all this stuff. I might actually film another part after this, like tomorrow, and actually do like the actual henshins and the poses, because I do love watching the show and it's, it's, Sentai like, is one of the biggest loves for me, like Sentai and Kamen Rider, Kamen Rider especially. I'm gonna go for my uh, my genius. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. I love the glowing lights. That's so cool. Okay, you're very excited there. It's my genius. <laughs> calm down, dude. Calm down. You're more excited than me. <laughs> And finally, let's do Vroom. Vroom is the most adorablest member, I think, of the team. He's just this, like, really nice dude, and he's just clumsy as all hell. And so sweet. Okay. I, I, I forgot to change. <laughs> I already forgot to rotate. Rotating, 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 rotating. Again, cool. Uh, one thing you'll notice when you're actually turning this, it doesn't need to be turned all the way. You don't need to keep going and going and going until it goes king. It'll actually stop. But I like turning it. So, in regards to like Sentai gear, like in general, which is funny because even the fact these are Sentai gears, in terms of uh, Super Sentai transformations devices it this is really really good like I'm sorry I'm just gonna shoot him so his eyes don't flash all the time this is possibly one of the best henshin items in Sentai and I have uh, Lupin Ranger and Ryu Soldier and Ryu Soldier is a sword Ryu Sword uh, Lupin and Pada Ranger is a changing gun which is really cool because you can have them at the top it's lupin at the bottom it's paddle ranger and i will show you guys that in another video very soon so this is cool what's next is even cooler because this my friends you guys are getting to see probably going to get to see this well the live audience especially Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. You're staying on the box. This doesn't premiere till Saturday, uh, Sunday. So in about like well over nine hours time for me. 
this has not been shown yet. It's probably been shown in the next time trailer. I missed last week's episode, sadly. Ladies and gentlemen, meet two Kaiser. This is the sixth Ranger for this series. We're only like a very short period of time into the series, which means there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, Muse, this dude is amazing. He, this whole design actually is a slight alteration of the 35th series, Go Kaijo, which is one of the best anniversary series out there for Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's a pirate theme. Go Kaijo was all pirate themed. Uh, Power Rangers did a very bad adaptation of this called Super Mega Force, and again, we don't really talk about it, other than majority of people agree that it is terrible, and they really messed it up. Because, I mean, for crying out loud, they literally had, in Gokaija, the red, the... Yeah, thank you, Kenoff. Uh, uh, Captain Marvelous. Captain Marvelous is like the best thing of Gokaija. Well, to be fair, the whole series is fantastic and the Six Ranger guy is just amazing. He's such he's, he's basically me in a Sentai world. I'm gonna take this out of the box first and then we're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at the box. Whoa, that's actually two parts. Oh yeah, it's actually two parts last <laughs> Whoa, I got this. Oh no. Whatever will I do, I don't care. Ha. So this, obviously, uh, he has three forms. He has his base form, which is this dude here. Slidle, slidle, slidle. We have the Gokaija version here, and then we have the Ordanger version, which is Power Rangers Zero, if you've ever watched the original Power Rangers. This dude also has two mechas, which we can see at the back here. Apologies, it's uh, this one here. And it becomes two different mechas, which is very similar to Lupin X. So, which is really, really cool. And this actually has a very interesting uh, henshin. So, with this one, we cranked and then pulled the trigger. With this one, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm kind of balancing everything over. So, I'm used, like seriously, Muse, I'm really happy to hear. Like, I probably already addressed that, but it really, ha really makes me happy to hear that you're enjoying me ramble about crazy shit. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this open, like so, and holy shit. Oh, wow. Like, seriously. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. That's, like, so cool. So we'll take, a, obviously, the Sentai gear first. Let's have a look at the Sentai gear. Uh, we need his first one. So this is, is his main henshin. Which is uh, Gokaija, nice shiny gold. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, his second form is Shinkenja, which is this one, the thirty-third. Which is if you like samurai, if you like all that crazy stuff, Shinkenja is so good. And a lot of people like hated like the series that came after Shin Shinkenju, which was Go Seija, but Go Seija had like the best villain, like throughout everything, it was the best villain. And here is the uh, Oranger Sentai Gear. And then let's bring out this bad boy. And we'll fill that box without falling off my sofa. Look at that, look at that. Like, compare 
We have a gun. Now we have a sword. That is also a gun because go Kaija. So this flips down because it meant to be like this. So you have this sort of gun. I can spin, spin to win. Again, we're going to do something like this for cam for the actual channel. I'm going to have stuff like that. Uh, if we flip that up, we have the slot for placing the Sentai gear. And it is called Geardalinga, I believe. Well, we'll find out when we actually put the batteries in. So we'll put the batteries in. Uh, when I find out what I would, there we go. So again, this guy is debuting tomorrow for me. We've had the actor revealed. And it's a little disappointing because again, anniversary season, it would have been nice if it was a returning cast member from Gokaija, given the attire. But the dude seems to be like really cool looking and I'm just hoping his personality matches like the idea. Because apparently he's from like a, a different group altogether. And I hope to God they explain why. Oh, uh, Muse, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So, I would make a sound, but I literally were about to make sounds on this. So, <laughs> let's just... There, I am actually doing it right around. <laughs> How is that? Oh, it goes up there. Okay. It's amazing because it's such a finicky thing to put in. Okay. Are you actually going to go in the box? You're going to go in. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, it means a lot. There we go. <laughs> we finally got it closed off. So. Bring this down, turn it on. Where's the speaker first? Speaker, yeah, speaker. That makes me so happy because that is the voice of the Gokaija henshin item, the more breaks. That is the same voice actor. And it's so cool they got, the, got him to come back and do it. So, nice gun sound, we can spin, so. I'm looking very quickly. So let's open. Let's take his Henshin device, his gear. We set. Mawase! I love that. I really do. I'm going to one tip. Now you think, oh, pull the trigger. So cool. And to do his attack. Cool. I might literally only one follow away. That's kind of crazy if that is the case. I have no idea. Because I'm barely getting any sort of notifications on my thing. So. Bring that out. Let's turn it up <laughs> and watch it fall out. So let's put all that in. Oh, that's the wrong way around. I'll say it again. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's actually really cool. So, Crockett, what was it doing? Crockayo! Crockayo! That's cool, that is really cool. Crocingo! Crocingo? How many zods does this dude have? Crocodile Operation! 
Okay, so the sweet. Okay, thank you very much. So we also have the sword form. Take it out. The box fell over in shock. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> so let's go Shinkenja because again, Shinkenja, one of my favorites. Yeah, we're good. And I love that whole idea that it's like, like the revolution. That's cool. That is really, really cool. Sky stuff. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's turn it around to the Shinkenja logo, which is on the back, which again, really, really nice. Let's set it in the sword. Let's close it. That's cool. Just making sure. And I, to be fair, I'm the practice and the. Making sure, and also, I just love spinning this. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, holy shit, I get to spin things. That's so cool. I'm a, I'm a massive kid. Okay, and then we have one more to do. One more to check. Which is the Oranger. I love how I start... Thank you. I love how I started playing tip, like... Uh, Tales for Spire, and now it's like I'm showing off all my nerdy shit. <laughs> Bring that down, let's spin. I don't know if he, like, the problem is, I don't think he's saying it sounds like he's saying revolution, but also he could be saying levolution. Because Japanese is weird when it comes to their their L's and R's, and as someone who teaches Japanese kids, I hear it a lot. <laughs> so it's it's fun. Uh, Kero, please question away. This is. The uh, I have one. No, actually I actually have three. I have three sent uh, Kamen Rider ones. My fr one of my friends in England has uh, like all of them. So I'm currently looking at getting Gaim stuff soon. So that'd be interesting. Let's turn over to the nice. If I could show you the over here. You would just see how much Kamen Rider Zero One stuff I have. Uh, I've done a bit of the arcade stuff. Uh, it's very difficult because I don't. I have a bunch of the Gamba Rising cards, but that's about it. So, I'm hoping to do that soon when I've got a decent camera and I can actually stream it, which would be quite nice. Completely missed the name of that, <laughs> so I apologize. So yeah, that's actually really cool. Uh, the only thing I really have to ask, because I lost. I lost oh yeah, I wanted to be packed in now, because apparently it's a good jingle to the to the attack. So let's do a henchin one more time.
It is revolution. Okay, it's the same as uh, the evol black hole form from Kamen Rider build. Spoilers, sorry. <laughs> it it literally it does the revolution, and it's kind of cool. So uh, let's do the attack. It's weird because it sounds like it's a mixture of both uh, Gokai, no, Gokai, yeah, Gokaija and uh, oh, what's it called? <sighs> Koryuja. Because just with the pronunciation of certain certain words. So I'm gonna do his henshin in here. See what happens. Okay, so it does actually have a, a register for it. I don't know how that works, though. I'm guessing there's pips for it. Hmm. But yeah, new hero in this one. So, in... Really, in just like... Overall for this, this has been one of the best Sentai releases, I think just on the premise of you know this really really awesome like uh, anniversary series i love the gears the gears are amazing it's the whole uh premise of the series that all the worlds are being sort of sealed within gears and the heroes have access to sentai gears and the villains have you know certain effects and stuff like that yeah, when you get a chance, watch it. Like, this series has done so many interesting things compared to, you know, past stuff. I've done that. Uh, for example, like, the intro. The intro itself is amazing because it actually is the outro. It's, it's like, Sentai has a very specific style where you'll have the intro, which will have, like, a really cool song, and then the outro will be a dance. This year they've done it the other way around. There's not even an outro anymore. Which is surprising. Oh, nice dude. That is... That's crazy. Okay. And our final one before we go back to some form of game. Is why I have this here. I've been waiting to actually do like... like this specific mode the blue the uh say uh, say say nagare this is Kamen Rider Saber this is possibly the thing that we weren't sure we were ever going to get and this is the final form for Kamen Rider uh, blades as far as we can tell anyway because this is like the whole design I'm actually going to bring it closer this whole design is Scream's final form to me. And it's just so cool. And this is goes completely against everything else in this series in terms of just how the books work. Because this series, this is Kamen Rider for the live audience. So Kamen Rider, if you've never seen it, is darker than uh, Super Sentai. I say that, and Super Sentai has done some dark stuff. But, yeah, they've more or less done, like, a lot of darker storylines. Like, Gaim is probably one of the darkest story arcs, I think, in general. And I'm really looking forward to getting that stuff. Uh, this, so, Saber is the second of the Rewa series. So, as a second series, it's 
written by an, a writer that I don't really have fond words for. That I didn't have fond words for. I really apologize for the squeaky chat. I really do. Uh, what's the word I was looking for? Yeah, the, the, the writer for Saber is the writer who did Kamerad Ghost, which while had like some of the best best suit and a really cool third rider it failed miserably on the story arc and i really need to figure out okay are you really doing a puzzle for me <laughs> no thank you so here we go so i actually need to get another book i need to get this one because I need to like, more or less show you guys how it works. So already this is by far one of the biggest books we have in the series. And I think I need to actually check this. So apologies. So I tend to base this off uh, some other like other books and yep. This is like the biggest and thickest book we've ever had. And if this is the size for uh, Blades final form, God help whatever the, the main hero Saber's final book will be. So this is Tatagami Hoyu, uh, Hoyuju Senki. So this is like a frozen wolf type thing. And this book is interesting because all of the books like Primitive Dragon, one of the best books because this sold out practically straight away. Have a very, like, we'll go in this belt this way. This one goes in this way. That's amazing. So let's bring it closer. Hopefully, the camera picks it up okay. As you can see, a lot of transparent blue and beautiful white, like. It's hard to really describe these in terms of just overall uh, feel. This feels like heavy. This feels powerful. And that's that's a weird thing to say because this is terrifying. And we'll, like I said, I'll do a video on that tomorrow. But it's just, wow. Like the weight to this is so cool. So. Uh, here at the bottom, you might not be able to see because of the lighting, but there are some buttons here, which affect the, uh, which give the sound basically. So without further ado, I'm going to pull the tab. I hate it when the, when it does that because it's like there's no sound. I'm like, why is there no sound? So here we want to push this up. Apologies for that. I literally scared the crap out of myself. So I apologize. I didn't expect it to be that loud. So that's obviously the sound, the the thing. I wonder if this has other sounds. No. Apologies. Give me one very quick second. literally poking my friend because it's like he's already missed the beginning but uh yeah so let's open the book shall we somehow How do you... try not to scare the crap out of myself okay very quickly where's the box 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 oh, okay okay interesting because i was like why is that not opening this Do we not actually, we do not have a story. Do we have a story? We do. Sometimes it's very tricky to, I don't know. Normally, normally for books, uh, like for example, Primitive Dragon.
I'll continue making noise if I don't turn it. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's really cool. From what says, there's only one voice line. Can you stop that? So, let's bring the belt in. And we want to set this into the middle slot, which is this one here. So we set, somehow set. I'm sorry, but I need to do that again. No, close, thank you. I need to do that again, Fox. I apologize, but holy sh so what we're going to do, I'm going to literally run over here and I'm going to get my belt. I know I'm being very unprofessional right now because you can probably barely hear me. But I am going to do this properly. I'm going to do this properly, folks. Okay, so R to R. Sorry, I know it's like you've seen absolutely nothing, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot more camera content coming up in the future, folks, on this one. So we're actually gonna bring this around, and you can see the, the area in which I'm living in. Look at all that stuff, look at all this stuff over here. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Stuff, stuff, <laughs> and the mess that I'm currently dealing with because of the boxes. So, I need to turn this off. I need to turn this back on. No, it's not plastic. So, see, see, can I So, this actually, I have to actually use like two, like an additional belt for this, just to make it work. So, let's do it properly, let's do it properly. Bring it up. The big boy belt, yeah. I, uh, hint, there's a video on my channel. <laughs> I can't remember really seems like get there's gonna be like the most views in terms of, uh, like three of my videos currently have like so many views and I'm like, what the hell? So again, we want to pull the trigger all the way down. Okay, so you guys can see, okay. I'm just going to make sure that you guys are actually straight. Are you straight? There we go. Hello. <laughs> Can you tell I'm like stupidly fucking happy about this stuff? So, we're gonna set this in the middle. Um, just watch this if you can see it. Just, I did not see it spin. Did not see it spin. Ready? I, I do it like that, but... Echo. Fuck. Like, holy shit, I apologize to my neighbors because that is the best thing ever. And like, there are so many, like, primitive dragon, jowl dragon, fucking elemental dragon. Like, Primitive, uh, not primitive, Draconic Knight, which is over here, has like one of the best like secondary jingles I've ever heard. But this, holy shit, <laughs> this is like, this is like getting like a thousand, like a thousand donation or something. <laughs> you know, it's like, what? Okay, so this has stuff 
How does this stuff work? Let's find out. Okay, we can we can use this here to spin this, I believe. So how do we spin? How do we spin? Tell me how do we spin? We push down? No. We do stuff. We do stuff that we do not know. Okay, so this is set. Is it because of that? I don't know. Is it because of that? I don't know. Okay, that's an attack. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, we push. Do we push it in? We push it in. Okay, and then go. Holy shit! I'm literally having to like, cover up the speakers because it's that loud. Holy shit, that is like, that is amazing. Like, I'm blown away here, like legitimately. I'm gonna crash, I'm actually gonna sit down for a second. I'm like blown away here and wow. Like, even know like this has become one of the best wonder night books in this series wow i'm just doing it okay Okay, I'm just literally doing all the things to sort of like. Oh, that's so cool. Holy shit, that is like. That is just amazing. Like, just to bring that into like focus here. Like, look at that. Look at that spin. I love it. Holy shit. That's like amazing. Amazingly good. I like. So I need to show you why I find like this to be like the best. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm gonna put that to one side. And I need to change my belt piece. So apologies for a second, here we are. Oh, I took off the, the sword. So I'm gonna switch to sabers, cause I wanna show you sabers. Okay, Mecca, which is again, a really cool thing that we do. And now we're going to do Primitive Dragon because I promised the YouTube guys who this is really long video. I apologize for the long video. This has been a lot of stuff. Primitive Dragon. Primitive Dragon is one of the best books before that one. Like one of the creepiest ones as well. It doesn't do the sound for some reason. So watch, watch this part. I love that. Like, this is what this is what we refer to. If again, you've never seen Kamen Rider as a berserker form. This is something that the hero or one of the heroes will get and they'll go into a berserk mode where they fight friends, family, that sort of thing. I honestly, I've never actually seen that emote that is, sorry, I'm like deafening you there, sorry, apologies. That's a really nice emote. I'm looking here, I can look here. So this would like, uh, they would end up fighting each other, like friends, and family, and it would always be like convoluted sort of thing. Zelda 1 did it the best out of recent set uh, Kamen Rider and very very creepy as well because it was cut like a thousand grasshoppers and like a million, so a thousand, a million, a billion ones. It's really cool. 
So this one also really cool form, creepy as all hell, and really really nice story to it, like which is surprising. So, but you thought that jingle was good? Wait. The timing on that is amazing. The fact that it's like they'll do the sound, the, the name of it, and then be like goodbye. Again, really, really cool. And I'm gonna do this one twice because it has its own function here. So I'm gonna open the book. So this one's a little bit tricky because there's a little... Yeah, shut up. <laughs> there's a little... Uh, uh, like wedge here, like not, not so much a wedge, uh, uh, nook. So it's a little bit tricky when you set it in. So we set it in. There we go, get the sound. Ele Mashi. This is sort of like a general power up for that's been used in the show. Thank you. <laughs> so this this gets used in the show like with other riders and stuff like that. But this will be the last part that we actually do, and then we're gonna go back to gaming, I think, possibly, just to calm down from the madness that this is this entire episode has been. So Sudo Elemental Dragon. Again, I love this. So yeah, you can see like just how stupidly good these jingles are so yeah it's like what the hell didn't do it thank you but yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna put this over here out the way i'm gonna put the sword away i'm gonna go down here and we're gonna finish off uh, really like let me just turn this back around to me hello folks uh, <laughs> that was a, like a tangent into like something really cool overall this like selection the the Gitterlinger the Gitter uh, Lancer the Lancer and I'm slanted slightly I apologise there we go and I keep forgetting it, like the button is there. The, the Tatagami Hoyuju Senki is, like this is the MVP, I think. Just for like the design, the tunes, and the fact that it spins. It fucking spins. Holy shit, that's amazing. So like, wow. And also like, because I just realized I never actually showed it. Oh, well, we might as well show the thing. If I can open the thing, let's, let's just rip the box because I'm not gonna use the cardboard box. So let's put the scissors away. Scissors, bye bye. Uh, just to show you the, the second compartment for the uh, Scent idea that came with uh, Twin Kaiser's weapon. Now I don't normally do it, but I'm actually going to be buying the the mechas because I do like the mecha design this season. I've like literally only done that once, and that was with Lupin. But yeah, you can see 
more or less the same gold color for the V, just a different color red, obviously a different color being red. Again, same, you can hold the same amount, you can hold six in each, which is quite nice. I have enough, so I'm actually gonna put the uh, two Kaisers in here, in his box, so we set one there, we set one there, and we set this, that's Maginette, where are we? That's Saint Kaiser. That is the, where is he? There he is. No, that's room. There he is. This one. Let's set him down. So you can see, got three set. Close up. And all this will go on my display wall. I'm eventually gonna move, once things settle, I'm actually, and I can actually move things around. I'm probably gonna move my computer back over to that area so we've got a nice wall behind us so uh where do we go from now Ed? what do we do next i think is the question i've been streaming for about two and a half hours so we'll do that and also i really should cut this out so ladies and gentlemen on youtube thank you very much for the what for watching the video uh links for my live for the live streams for the Twitter that I now have, which I'm actually gonna put up on my Steam, on my Steam, on my stream, uh, will all be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this very long video, sort of making up for the lack of videos over the past month. So thank you very much folks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be very soon. Okay, thank you very much.